Hi guys, this is Christina, the Amputee OT. In this video, I'm going to show you what's in my Amputee Survival Kit. Whether you're a lady or a gentleman, you are probably going to notice that once you get your prosthetic after you become an amputee, you are going to need to carry around several things that you didn't have to carry around before you were an amputee. There are three amputee related things that I carry with me basically everywhere I go. An assortment of stump socks, including a couple of one ply, a two ply, a three ply, and a four ply. You don't necessarily have to carry around this many, but I usually carry this many around. The reason I carry around stump socks is because the volume of my residual limb changes throughout the day and I need to frequently take off my prosthetic and wear more socks, otherwise I'll bottom out and it'll hurt the bottom of my leg. The other thing I carry around is something for my skin. You can carry around a little bottle of lotion, some kind of anti-chafing cream, but I carry around Adapt Skin made by Adapt Labs. Adapt Skin comes in two different viscosities and I find these little travel containers of it to be very convenient. The other thing I carry around with me everywhere I go is some type of microfiber cloth towel to dry off my leg should I need to take my prosthetic all the way off, or if my leg happens to get really super sweaty on the inside of the liner. This is a microfiber cloth towel. It's a camp towel made by REI, so you can buy them at REI, and it's very useful for absorbing excess sweat or moisture. It's also really helpful for cleaning your glasses. Nice. These are about $9 at REI, and this one is a size small. They come in different sizes, ranging from a little bit smaller than this to really pretty big, and this seems to be the best size for me. If I'm going to go on a vacation trip, a hiking trip, a road trip, or any type of trip where I know I'm going to be away from my home for a while, I bring this, which is my amputee survival kit. Inside here, I've got, this is a second skin blister kit. This kit comes with little blister pads that you can use to cover blisters, a square of adhesive backed fabric that you can use to cover blisters, and this is a moisture pack. This you put underneath either the blister pads or the fabric to help protect your blister if you were to get a blister on your residual limb. Also inside my travel kit I've got another little jar of Adapt Skin. This is the Adapt Skin 90. It's a thicker viscosity. Cortisone cream for in case I get mosquito bites on my residual limb or get a super itchy spot on my residual limb. A travel container of Hibiclens for when I need to clean my residual limb. Neosporin in case I get a wound I need to cover. A band-aid friction block stick in case I'm getting some friction areas on my residual limb. An Allen tool just in case something comes loose on my prosthetic. Even more extra socks. And a couple of pieces of foam I got from my friend just in case I need to pad the inside of my socket. Now, of course, you may want to add or remove the items from your own amputee survival kit should you make one, but I definitely think it is appropriate and beneficial to be prepared so that you're not stuck not being able to wear your leg or stuck with a blister or some other problem that could have easily been avoided if you had just brought some small, simple things with you along your trip. The number one most essential thing I think you need to carry with you at all times are extra stump socks. As I mentioned before, your residual limb changes volume throughout the day, and if you don't have those stump socks, then you're going to end up bottoming out or getting other sores because the volume's not correct inside your socket. But if you have a little bit of extra room to spare, I definitely think a little tube of lotion or adapt skin is very beneficial, and I keep that with me all the time, just in case I get rubbing or chafing. I especially like to put it right on the edge of my liner where my liner ends because sometimes I tend to get a little raw there. Right here on the edge of the liner. So I roll it up. Adapt skin on. Put 
and it really helps keep my skin from getting irritated right on the edge of this liner here. And if you can afford even more room, I think the third most important thing is the little microfiber camp towel so that you can dry off any sweat that accumulates in your leg and your liner should you choose to take it off during the day. Alright guys, so I would like to know, if you have an amputee survival kit, what's in your kit? I bet you've probably got some things that I didn't think of and I'd really like to know what they are so I can see if I'm leaving anything out. Also, amputees have different needs, so you might have something in your survival kit that I haven't even thought of and wouldn't even need myself because it doesn't apply to me. Okay guys, that's all for now. I hope you have some comments to leave me in the comments section. Please subscribe, I put out new videos every Wednesday, and have a good one. See you later, bye!